what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial for you guys, so I'm going to jump over to my computer and I'm going to be showing you how you can SEO your blog posts on wordpress.org sites or if you have a wordpress.com site that actually has Yoast SEO plugin, then you can do this as well. But I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on the exact steps that you need to follow if you want to SEO your blog post, so stick with me. I have got my blog post open and ready to go right here, but before we get started, I do want to tell you guys that I have two other great resources for you. So the first one, if you want to SEO a blog post, you need to make sure that you are optimizing your images. And I actually have a YouTube video right here on YouTube that you can go ahead and check out. There's the little info box. Click it and learn how to optimize your images. That's really going to impact your SEO for your blog post. And then I also have another resource. I have a blog post about how to SEO your blog posts, and you can go ahead and check that out. I did include a um, link to it in the description bar down below, but I am going to walk you through exactly how you can SEO your blog post today with this blog post. So I wrote this blog post not too long ago. It was just a couple of weeks ago. And it's five tips to explode your blog traffic on Pinterest. The first thing you ever want to do before you even start to SEO your blog post is think of the keyword that you are going to use. So my main keyword for this blog post is blog traffic with Pinterest. That is the keyword that I am picking. I could also choose if I wanted an even longer term keyword to get more specific. I could do explode your blog traffic with Pinterest. But, yet I, but I think a lot more people are searching for blog traffic with Pinterest. So that is going to be my main focus keyword here. Now I want to make sure that I actually have this keyword somewhere throughout this blog post. So I'm just going to search and make sure that I have it in here. Blog traffic with Pinterest. So all I am doing is searching the page, making sure that I have enough of this keyword throughout my blog post. So I have it four times on this page. So it's in my title, of course. You need to have your keyword in your title for good SEO. You want to have it in the first section, so in the introduction. So I have it right here in the introduction. I also have it here as a heading. That is a great SEO tip to include it in your heading tags. Include your keyword in your heading tags. And then I probably have it other places throughout this article as well. So that is all good to go. As long as I have it there, it's included right here as well. As long as I have it a few times in here, I'm good to go. But I also have different keywords. So I noticed that the very first sentence I even have says blogging traffic from Pinterest, which is a variation of my keyword. And it's good to have variations of the keyword that you are going for throughout your content. So I am glad that I have that right there and I am not worried with how many times um, blog traffic with Pinterest is included in my content. The goal is typically to include it around three times per blog post if you really wanna target that keyword, but make sure you also have a variety of other keywords that relate as well which will typically happen in your natural language. So the next thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that all of your images are optimized. So all of my images are optimized, they are compressed to the right size and then I added the alt text right here. Alt text is huge for SEO. You need to include keywords. And when this, you can include hashtags because this is going to Twitter. Um, you want to make sure that you're including keywords in your alt text as well as the main keyword for your blog post. You want to include that in your alt text as well. But that is explained in that video that I showed you earlier. So the other thing that you want to pay attention to is you probably heard of Yoast SEO before. So if you have a WordPress.org site and you use Yoast SEO, it is right down here. This is your Yoast SEO section. And when you scroll down, this is exactly what you should see. Now, you may notice that this is a gray circle right here, or maybe that's not as obvious to you. And you actually notice up here in this publish box that you typically see, this says not available. If you have been publishing your blog post with not available, then you have an SEO problem and you need to go back through and make sure that you are doing all the SEO work you need for your blog post. So, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do that right now. So in order to get this activated, for this to even register as a color, you need to enter a focus keyword. So I already told you what my focus keyword, it is blog traffic with Pinterest. That is my focus keyword. Okay, now that I entered my focus keyword, you can see that this has turned orange. So orange means that your SEO is okay. Red means that it's bad. Orange means that it's okay. Green means that it's good. You always wanna strive for green. Now, if you're not always hitting green, it's not a big deal. You just wanna avoid the red. Um, 
So first we entered our focus keyword. The next thing you have to do is click this edit snippet button. And there are a few things you want to do here. So you can change your SEO title, but your SEO title is this right here. It is the title of a blog post typically with your website name attached afterwards. So mine always has the content bug attached afterwards. I'm going to leave that the same. I don't ever change that really. It's very rare that I change that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the slug because I think this slug is a little bit too long and I don't think it's very beneficial. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to maybe change it to explode your blog traffic or maybe I'll just say blog traffic with Pinterest. Um, okay, so I'm going to actually just remove this your because I don't think that makes sense, but explode blog traffic with Pinterest. So you can notice here that my focus keyword is still in the slug. You want to make sure that your focus keyword is in the slug. Oh, if you guys don't understand what a slug is, a slug is right here. It points it out. It's your URL. It's just the part on the end that is added to determine what link leads to the blog post that you are talking about. Um, the next thing you want to do is add your meta description. So write down here all this gray text. That is your meta description. If you don't enter any information in this specific box, this will pull from the first few words within your blog post. So you want to make sure that you are always entering your meta description. So let me go ahead and copy and paste something in here right now. So that is going to be my meta description for this blog post. I previously wrote this out. Um, let's see. There is more than you need to know. Nope, that is correct. Okay, so I specifically already wrote this out, but you may notice that when I enter this meta description, this immediately went to green and this immediately went to green because not adding a meta description is huge when it comes to SEOing your blog posts. Um, and Yoast, take it, Yoast takes it very seriously. But let's say, okay, I'm going to cut part of this. So we're just going to cut this out. Let's say that that was actually my meta description. You notice that this bar went from green. It was like over here and it went from green back down to orange. This means that it is not long enough. So by adding the length, you want this bar to be in the green area. And when you type this out, you can type it out right in this um, little box. The bar will move from left to right. So if I continue typing, you'll notice that it is moving to the right based on the length. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't go over that green bar, it will turn to red. So you just want to make sure that you're in the green area and you are good to go. Now, when it comes to SEO in your blog post, so that didn't take much for me to hit the green um, good setting up here in the SEO. What you want to do is you want to look at your analysis. So this is the analysis down here. I'm going to actually close that snippet just so we have more room. Um, this is your analysis down here. And now it says that there are two key problems that I could fix if I wanted to improve my SEO. The first one, the focus keyword does not appear in the first paragraph of copy. Make sure the topic is clear immediately. Well, I already showed you, but let's scroll back up. Do you want to get more blog traffic from Pinterest? Makes it pretty obvious in my mind what this blog post is about. It has a different keyword that is pretty, I mean, super close to my main target keyword. So I'm not going to worry about what they're saying down here. The next thing they had a problem with was my keyword density is too low. So they said that the keyword was only found two times. Now, I do agree that that's probably a problem. I like to strive for typically three times minimum throughout a blog post. So I could go up here and I could change some of them if I wanted to. But honestly, I'm just going to leave it be. Now, there are other things that come up. So these are improvements. So these are your orange setting guys, and these should be changed, but not that big of a deal. And then down here in your good is everything you're doing right. So if your blog post isn't long enough, this is a popular one that will pop up. If your meta description, like we talked about, is not a good length, if it's either too short or too long, this will pop up in the problems area. So you need to pay attention to your problems and improvements area and fix those. And when you fix a couple of those, you may notice it only may take one to change and you will get the green setting over here. And I mean, really, that's it. You don't have to have everything being green. You don't have to have everything great. There's always something that they're going to want you to improve on. But it's not that big of a deal. But this is your analysis problem. So the main things that you need to do when you are determining how to SEO your blog post is determine the focus keyword. Enter the focus keyword right here. Make sure you change your slug, your meta description, and include your focus keyword at least three times throughout your text. And then what you want to do is make sure that all of your images are optimized. And that is really it when it comes to SEOing a blog post. There are so many more tips I could give you, like including internal links. So these are links to my website, including external links. So links that go outside of my website to quality sources. 
But for now, that's just how you want to SEO your blog post. I will actually create another video for you guys about tips and tricks on what to include in your blog post for improved SEO. But for this video, that is it. I could go ahead and click publish on this blog post and it is done. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you want to watch that other video or if you want to read that other blog post, go ahead and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.